Join the army. Be productive. Be a man. Be the biggest boss ever. Hello, guys, and welcome to the front lines of Shorts Wars. Since the big turkey day, we have gotten some very important news about the future of Shorts Wars and where the series will go. To start off, Shorts Wars has expanded to Discord, where the barracks of the boss resides, and I accidentally joined. Um, whoops, wrong Discord. So, on the Big Turkey Day, the boss released a YouTube channel that was linked in the creator's videos, along with the Discord. In the videos, the boss acts like a Sigma, and tries to encourage the viewer to do good things for their livelihood. But why would the boss encourage this behavior? I believe that the reason the boss does this is to manipulate the viewer. Because if the boss presents himself as someone who can help you, the viewer thinks of him as a better person. He also presents himself as someone better than the viewer, presenting himself as someone above the viewer because he is more productive and efficient with his time. This can motivate people to get up and experience life. However, the boss uses a supercilious tone towards the viewer. And I believe that this is a small indication that the boss is actually manipulating people and could care less about any self-improvement the viewer may have. The only thing the boss cares about is that the viewer because if the viewer obeys him, then they will listen to him when he declares war against the short's creators. For example, the boss may ask his viewers to comment something on the creator's videos, vote in polls, intercept the key in like an ARG puzzle the creators made as a last resort to beat the boss, which I know sounds a little bit far-fetched, but hey, you just wait. Just you wait. I'm that crazy. You're crazy. These are all things the boss will have his followers do, and from what I've seen on the Discord server, they will. Creating a likely outcome where the followers help the boss win, and then they all lose, and he wins setting up something in Season 3, where all the followers were betrayed by him, and where the creators will rise up and defeat this threat. We also have the boss's lackeys, who are C.com and Bambeya, who deliver Wendy's to Boss and Raggy, but also steal content from their fellow creators, which is going to be extremely interesting to see where they go from there. Because, what would happen to a video he stole? Would it actually be deleted? And how was he granted this power? Well, they could be granted this power by the boss, who already has many unnamed abilities. Side note here, as of writing this video, the videos all stayed up. However, the boss created very bad reactionary videos to the shorts creator's shorts. So basically, he's just pointing at the screen as the video plays. So obviously, it's just a riff on stolen content on YouTube shorts, where it's really bad, crappy reactions and creators are credited for this and gain massive followings. So now we know what he'll be doing with the stolen content. However, the boss seems reluctant and seems to have a disdain for what he's doing because now he seems very unhinged and will do whatever it takes to win against the shortest creators. If you would like to subscribe, please do so now. Now to touch on a few things that have been released by the boss and the creators. The boss released a video of the clone VPN shareholders who were tricked into investing into the company, and at the end of the video, the boss killed them. However, before they die, we find out that this one guy's family had not only invested in the boss, but his predecessor. While many of the shareholders were confused about the creation of the facility and the other things the boss has done with their money, this guy doesn't seem to be surprised about the facility and likely knew about the entire operation behind the scenes. He even looks at the boss and points at him saying, that's sloppy work. And the final POV is that shareholder, showing how important he is to the boss and the lore. Hopefully we get some more information on him soon, but we'll just have to wait and see. Finally, we get a short uploaded by Dana where Rosie, Riggy's girlfriend, sees Raggy and stabs him, where she finds out that the clones can be killed and she stabs him multiple times. So perhaps we will see an injured and weak Raggy, or Rosie will get captured and needs to be rescued by Riggy when he gets healthy. But we'll just have to see. I see, I see, out.